Hi, I'm Maya, and I'm going to be talking about the feminist Lucy Stone. During my video, I will be discussing different aspects of her life, starting with the background, her contributions to the public, her work in the feminist movement, and then I will be discussing my analysis of her work and my opinions on the contributions she had. Lucy Stone was born on August 13, 1818, and died October 18, 1893. She was one of nine children and had very influential figures in her life, such as her grandfather. Her grandfather was a captain in the American Revolution and fought for slaves to be freed. Stone admired her grandfather and soon developed the same anti-slavery ideal. She also fought to receive a higher education as she outsmarted her brothers. Um, at this time, it was foreign for women to go to school, so she had to work extremely hard. Um, she achieved her degree from the Oberlin College in Ohio in 1843. After she graduated, she still found it hard to find a job because there were not these possibilities and positions open for women. After college, she began um, exploring more opportunities in public speaking, and this created her career in the women's rights movement. Before I discuss her contributions to the feminist movement, I want to talk about the contributions she made to the public because I feel that these were equally important um, in terms of people respecting her. Um, she started her public speaking career by working for William Lloyd Garrison. Um, for this, she wrote and delivered speeches for the American Anti-Slavery Society. Um, even though she was respected by those in the cause, she was often attacked by mobs after giving the speeches because she was female. Um, once she began to get comfortable with this type of work, she began to research more feminist issues occurring at the time, which kind of sparked her interest in the feminist movement. Um, after working for a while for both problems, she earned more than male speakers, so it shows that there was improvement within the society. Um, these contributions to the public, again, made her more respected by others and in turn helped her fight against the issues um, for women presented by society. I will now be discussing um, Stone's interest in the feminist movement and her contributions to it. Um, throughout her journey after college, Stone sparked an interest in the feminist movement and the problems facing women at the time. Um, she was inspired by other organizations and conventions happening at the same time, such as the Seneca Falls Women's Rights Convention. After this event, Stone organized the first National Women's Rights Convention in Worcester, Massachusetts. Here she delivered a speech that was then printed in the international press and it gave her more support from feminists around her. Um, someone who she inspired was actually Susan B. Anthony. Um, after hearing and reading Stone's speech, she decided to join the feminist movement. Um, Stone also began delivering speeches to conventions in both the United States and Canada and gained even more support from people. Continuing with her fight for women's rights, she married her husband, but refused to take his last name and decided to keep her maiden name. This was unheard of at the time and allowed women to create their own future without being defined by their husband's last name. Now I will be discussing my analysis of her contributions. So after learning more about Lucy and what she did for women in the 1800s, I respected the effort it took for her to go outside of the box and fight for what she believed in. I believe her working hard to receive her education and not letting anything stop her was very inspirational and it gave other girls a role model to look up to. I also think that her not taking her husband's last name gave her more power in the sense that she had the choice of whether or not she wanted to take it. This also gives others the opportunity to reflect on their own lives and see what they can change about their status within society. Lucy Stone's contributions to the feminist movement were very beneficial and paved the way for women today. She believed that women should have the right to a higher education and fought her way to a degree. In today's world, in 2023, women make up most of the percentage of people attending college. This is a great jump from the 1800s and it shows how much we have grown as a society. I believe without Stone and other women's contributions, we may not have had this exact same outcome. It takes a brave person to make a difference in a time like the 1800s.